6,000 years ago, humankind began utilizing silver. We consider it a precious metal, something fit for extravagance, mythical tales about werewolves, and medicine? In fact, silver has been utilized throughout the 20th century in a wide variety of antimicrobial medical products. My research focuses on nanocrystalline silver, which is an advanced engineered material used in modern wound care. It may be a little cliche to say, but nanocrystalline silver is meant to be a perfectly imperfect form of silver. A good analogy to help explain what I mean is the comparison between a diamond and the graphite in a pencil, as they are both forms of carbon. A diamond has a perfect atomic structure, where all the atoms are interlinked and difficult to break apart, much like normal solid silver. Comparatively, the atoms in graphite form sheets and are not all interlinked. This imperfection allows it to be easily broken apart, making it perfect for writing. Nanocrystalline silver takes atomic imperfection a step further to perfect its utilization in medicine. As the name suggests, it is a thin sheet of material made of nano-sized silver crystals. However, we do not care about the crystals themselves. The perfect imperfection we care about is the free-floating silver atoms trapped in the spaces between the crystals. When a nanocrystalline silver bandage is applied to a wound, these free-floating silver atoms dissolve in the moist environment, delivering active atomic silver, which improves healing through antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory effects. Nanocrystalline silver is the only form of silver currently capable of producing dissolved atomic silver. Other medical products rely on dissolved silver ions, which are less antimicrobial and more toxic or whole nanoparticles, which cannot dissolve and have proven about as effective as using a diamond as a pencil lead. To create nanocrystalline silver, a normal block of silver is first placed in a vacuum chamber. It is then blasted with plasma. Plasma is high energy matter made of ionized gas atoms and is commonly seen in neon signs. The plasma atomizes the silver and the atoms deposit into crystals on a sheet below. Unfortunately, the proper protocol for producing nanocrystalline silver in this manner is inefficient and expensive, so current medical products are made using an altered procedure that leads to a less than optimal material and are restricted to patients with severe wounds like deep burns and chronic ulcers. My research focuses on establishing a new production method that cuts costs while maintaining a high quality material. This will allow nanocrystalline silver to be used more widely to benefit the most patients possible and deliver a more effective treatment overall. Mm -hmm.